What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video here. Let the camera adjust here so you can see me. Today is one of those videos you guys have been waiting for. I've been getting comments about when is the interior gonna be in, when's the interior gonna be in, when's the interior gonna be in. Well today the interior is going to be going into this truck and you guys are gonna see the full reveal of what it looks like. It's pretty sweet, it's pretty awesome. So I'm gonna show it to you here. But first we need to call the winner for that truck over there that has the interior in the bed of it because He's from Casper, Wyoming. His name is Thomas Brow. He won the 2003 5.9 Cummins plus $5,000 cash. You could be next with this beautiful 12 valve Cummins right here plus five grand as well. I just popped the hood, so that's why the hood's slightly open. I just popped the hood because we got a few things we're gonna do on this truck today. Interior is the big one though, so let's get on the phone here. Let's call the winner for that beautiful 2003. And while we're calling this winner, think about this. You could be next, you could be on the phone being told that you just won a beautiful truck plus five grand. Let's give him a ring here. What's going on, man? What's up, buddy? Dude, are you excited or what? Uh, yeah, I am. <laughs> Which is funny because I didn't think I was ever going to win. I, I, I just, it was like a middle of the night type of deal. I just bought something. I just woke up and went on Facebook and uh, there was your ad there. I said, I mean, I've, I've seen your ad before. Yeah. Um, but I just never bought nothing. I don't know, something told me to buy something. Just buy that multi-pack $20 thing. That's crazy, dude, but yeah, I'm sitting in the truck right now. Drove it this morning to go pick up some custom leather interior for the next giveaway truck. And I mean, dude, you're, you're gonna freaking love this thing. It's awesome, it's a lot of fun to drive. I wanted to get a 5.9. Yeah, yeah. All right, honestly, I did. I, it's like, I, I was getting close to thinking about buying one. Well, I guess the car just kind of worked in his favor. Yeah, that's crazy, dude. Yeah. Hey, if it's meant to be, it's meant to be, and I guess it was one of those things for you, man. It's meant to be. Congratulations, dude. Yeah, I would say if this doesn't make you a believer, I don't know what will. I mean, it's probably the best best dose of faith you're gonna be able to have in one of these things. <laughs> and my boss, all right, she's pretty cool. She was like, this is, you know, that's a scam, that's a scam. I'm like, no, it's not a scam. So I had to show it to her, did I show her the video on YouTube? I'm like, you wouldn't put that online, on the internet, if it's booked. Yeah, no kidding. You know, I got the Instagram, and then she followed me, or whatever whatever that is. Yeah. All right? She got a thing through Instagram, or text, or something, saying she won. I said, then it's a scam. Yeah. Said, they don't contact you through social media. These are the, the guy will call you, the alliance will call you first. Yeah. And then he will call you. Yeah. She said, if you didn't get any phone call from them, then it's bull I try to tell people that so many times, dude. You would not believe. I've got in my bio, we do not direct message you about prizes. I've got literally a story highlight. Report all fake accounts. If you get any private messages or phone calls and they can't prove your order number, they can't prove who you are, they can't prove your shipping address, you know, like it's a scam. Like if they if they ask for registration fees that you have to pay to be able to claim it, it's a scam. Like all these things, and I kid you not. I probably get 30 or 40 messages per day from people like, hey, you know, why are you scamming me? Like, who's, whose account, why did you hire somebody to scam people? And I'm like, dude, those are not my accounts. I literally, like, if, if I was trying to hire people to make fake accounts to scam you, why would I have all over my pages look out for these accounts and do not contact them, do not message them, don't respond to them? I'm like, it doesn't make any sense. You gotta use a little bit of common sense here. Whatever works out best, just, Give me a holler. All right, buddy. Thank you. Hey, I appreciate your time, man. Yep. Maybe I'll see you this weekend. Yep. For sure. Sounds good. All right. Yep, bye. bye. Well, that is Thomas Brow from Casper, Wyoming. He is going to be picking up this beautiful, beautiful 2003 59 Cummins. Thing doesn't even have 90,000 miles on it, guys. Not even 90,000 miles. Beautiful truck. Beautiful truck. A truck in five grand. You could be next. Oh man, I, 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 I wanna show you more, but let me let me get this installed real quick first. This is a k &N, no hassle, lifetime warranty. Let's see if I can get this thing open. Follow us on Instagram and Facebook. I don't know why I would follow k &N on Facebook and Instagram. Now you're probably wondering why on earth do you need a new air filter? Well, come check this freaking thing out. This thing is, and I don't know if this is considered way too dirty or not very dirty, but to me, that thing looks filthy, so I'm gonna pop that thing off, get a new one put on, because I'd rather be safe than sorry and somebody have a truck that can't properly breathe going down the road. And bam! Here we go, new air filter. Hopefully that uh, breathes a little better than the last one. I don't know what color this one was supposed to be, but I don't know if like dirty, dusty, nasty was supposed to be the proper color. 
But let's get into these new leather seats for this 9712 out here, guys. These are so sick. Okay, so these are actually like a tan color that's supposed to match the interior of the truck here with black beading, which the tan is supposed to match like the door panels, the underside of the dash here, all this, and then the black is supposed to match the bezels, the wheel, the dash top, and then just some of the black accents throughout the interior. But this is gonna be so sick. Also the floor, because the, the vinyl flooring is black as well in this thing. So super, super stoked about this. Hopefully these look so sick in this truck. We're gonna start with the back seat because the back seat of course has to get done and then uh, then it'll be much easier to do the front. So let's get the back seat dropped in here. And oh man, I'm so excited to show you guys what these in the truck. deal just just a nice buck casually hanging in my barn um, if you guys want to win a hunt with me do not forget that you can win a hunt with me at lnpoutdoors.com I think I leave a link in the description below maybe maybe not but anyway we're giving away a hunt at lnpoutdoors.com that's also my website and that giveaway does end on November 24th. It's a late season hunt. It's freaking awesome. It's on my personal property that me and Reagan own. And it is, let's just say, she's got both of her doe tags filled for the year already. And I have both my doe tags and my buck filled on that property. It's not even November yet. She's got the whole property to herself right now. So after she tags her buck, she's done. And it'll be just for you guys to come out here and hunt with us. So, um, It'll be pretty cool. So stay tuned guys, get entered to win that if you want at lmpoutdoors.com. Let's get to showing you guys the new leather interior in this thing. It's pretty freaking sweet. I think you guys are gonna like it. If you don't like it, I don't know what to tell you. So here it is guys, the new tan with black bead leather interior in this thing. So what we actually went with was this color because it matched the dash very nicely and it's gonna match the headliner extremely well at the same time. So we did actually take a, a piece of this plastic in there to match this interior up to make sure that it was the right color and it's a perfect match. Now, the headliner is also very dirty. So we're taking the truck up to get a brand new headliner and that also matches this leather interior as well. So that's gonna look freaking sweet. We did a black bead on it and we also did black stitching in the seams and stuff because we wanted it to match the dash in the, the dash top and the front of the dash because that's all black as well. And we thought a little bit of contrast might go a long way with the interior of this thing. We did actually have some plans for a custom LNP diesel trucks logo embroidered right here in the middle of the back on the seats. However, we could not get that done because they were so backed up with embroidery stuff at the local shop that did the embroidery work that they were not gonna be able to get it done for several weeks and it was just not gonna end up working out. So we had to skip on that as much as we wanted to do that. But Reagan does have something in store for this that I think you guys are gonna really like. Um, and uh, yeah, stay tuned for that. Back seat, same color obviously with the black stitching all throughout. It looks freaking awesome, fits the truck very, very nicely. Super happy with how that turned out. And I hope you guys like this. I wasn't I wasn't too sure on what you guys would think because, you know, some guys, they you might think, ah, oh, you know, like it's, it's, it's cool, like the tan is cool, but the tan could get kind of dirty, but it's not white and it's not like a cream color, it's a tan. So I don't, I, I understand the concerns, you know, some guys might be like, oh, well, it could get dirty, but you know, it's also easy to clean stuff. It's not like it's gonna be a pain in the butt to clean. Like if you've got, proper leather cleaner. I mean, if you have to wipe it down ever so often to keep it clean, it's a very easy material to wipe down. So hopefully you guys are happy with that. I know I am. I think it looks really sweet. The leather just feels better. And these seats were custom made. These are not like cat skin pullovers. These are custom built to this truck. The guy actually had to cut and stitch all of this specifically for these seats. These are not like a pre-ordered, prefabricated material and seat setup. And I think they turned out really sick. And they're actually a heavier grade of leather than like most of your factory leather options. So it's actually like pretty, pretty firm stuff. Like it feels good, like it's cushy, but it's also like very, very firm and tough leather. So I'm, I'm pretty excited about that. I think it looks really stinking good. Get you guys a little bit better look here, nice and slow. Honestly, it reminds me of like a new Lincoln interior. It's pretty fancy, it looks pretty cool. 
so nice. So, so nice. I really hope you guys like it. And it's one of those things that, you know, when you try new things that not everybody does in terms of interior options and stuff and color options, and do you paint match, do you not paint match, do you do a matching interior, do you do something crazy and, you know, completely different color than the rest of the interior, everybody has their own preference on what they think would look best. And, you know, it, it is what it is. I just thought I'd try something that almost looked like it could have been an OEM option if they even made that an option for the 97 trucks. And I feel like the quality of leather and the color and the feel of it is some, you, something you could not have gotten in this truck in 97. And it, I think it looks really sweet. It's like, it's like OEM fitment and OEM like style, like in feel, but it's obviously not something you could get OEM. So it's kind of like an OEM plus type of deal. And it, I think it just really fits the truck very nicely. New custom leather interior made for this truck. Airbags over the rear axle. We put a new air intake on there because the other one was super filthy. And we're not done with it yet. So stay tuned. We've got a couple more things we'd like to do to this truck before we call it, call it good. But hopefully guys are happy with the current progress on this thing because I know I am and I'm super excited to see who wins this thing, which could be you by the way. If you get in right now, every $1, 10 entries to win and then that deal will be gone on November 2nd, and that is the last day for it. So if you haven't got in uh, with your 10X entries yet, it just went live today for 10X, and uh, this deal will be over very soon, so don't miss out on it. Anyways, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, please smash that thumbs up. Leave those comments down in the comment section below if you have not done so yet. Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss any of the videos, because we post every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday like clockwork, and I would not want you guys to miss out on any of the videos so you can see progress updates on your new truck and everything else that we've got going on here on the channel. So thank you guys so much. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.